what's going on everybody hey hey it's monday we are live last week of february how awesome is that Woo! man this year is flying by hey everybody i wanted to touch base with you all um as you'll notice the title of this video and this live is the human performance blog and we have a four-part series coming out over the next four weeks and it's going to be really highlighting some areas of our lives that can help us become the best version of ourselves. I call it human performance because I think so often we are caught up in thinking that, hey, um, this only applies to athletes and the extreme superstars of the world. However, every single one of you is a superstar in my opinion. And each one of you needs to be the best version of yourself to leave an impact in your community. And with that being said, it's very important that these, these traits, these characteristics, that they are transferred over into your life as well to ensure you perform at your absolute very best. So with that being said, we're going to be talking about four critical areas of human performance. This week, first up, <clears throat> it's a blog on sleep. Number one, sleep. Sleep is incredibly important. And, you know, this is what's really interesting about it. It's incredibly confusing at the same time. So we're going to jump right into that this Thursday. It's a pretty lengthy blog. However, it's going to be packed full of valuable information for you. Number two we're going to talk about is going to be nutrition and what it means to actually explore nutrition as it pertains to your lifestyle. As you guys know at Hope, we have a range of people who come in here from those who are chronically ill that are looking for solutions that haven't found them, all the way to those who are aiming to improve their quality of life and an ability to perform at the absolute best level possible. And those that dichotomy between those two has a very clear cut conundrum that connects them, which is found in their nutrition. Number three we're going to talk about is going to be, let me jump in my notes here because I'm jumping off track. Give me a second. Number three is going to be the idea of stretching. Um, a lot of times we have a lot of patients that come into the office. They ask a ton of questions focused on, you know, is yoga good for me? What type of stretching do I need to be doing? How can I get rid of some of these painful areas when I don't have to be adjusted? And these are all super valuable questions. And we're going to be putting together a, you know, a several part video that's just going to discuss you know, what you can incorporate in your life, what I've found to help out with some of those problematic areas, being our hips, our neck, and, you know, really how that we can, you know, incorporate that into our daily life. And number four is going to be the most important blog we write in this entire series, and it's going to be on neurology and why your nervous system is by far the most important system that you need to take care of, regardless of how you feel. And that's going to be really what we're aiming for in these next four parts. And I think they go hand in hand with what's happening right now in the world of CrossFit, which is a five-week series of workouts. And I designed this because, you know, a lot of people ask a ton of questions about performance. They want to know, how do I get my best workouts? How do I perform my very best? You know, I didn't do very good on the first open workout, but I, I you know, I want to redo it. And a lot of these questions are, is the biological cost actually worth a repeat? And so from that, we divulge into the, these, these performance areas that actually make up who we are as humans and how we perform on our everyday basis. Now, knowing that CrossFit is a very small community, I mean, 300,000 people, that's not very big into 300 million that make up the United States. However, they still make an impact. Yet, the lessons in that community are directly transferable to every single person in some way, some shape, or form, depending upon how you want to adapt them. Now... Let's jump into some more important things that are happening down the line. We have our grand opening next week. I just sat down with Gemma of Del Frisco's Grill and she walked me through the menu and you guys are in for a treat. It is going to be unbelievable. They're doing mini crab cakes. They have shrimp cocktails. They're doing some type of coconut cream pie dessert. And they have some bruschetta that's like just unbelievable food that they're bringing over here. And it's all free of cost for you. It's going to be unbelievable. Um, we're going to have some great beer coming from Noble Ray. We have some wonderful wine being provided from a uh, local wine distributor that is guaranteed to not give you a hangover. So look out for that. And don't forget the raffle prizes. You know, I got a few people in the community that are coming up big with some great gifts to give away. So I hope you all can make it out for that. 
Um, we have the South Lake Ribbon, uh, South Lake Chamber Ribbon Cutting. We're going to be having the Grapevine Chamber Ribbon Cutting. We'll be having South Lake uh, Business Exchange and Grapevine Young Professionals all at the office, out in the parking lot, building community and helping each other connect to ensure that we can continue to provide a great service to the, the community of South Lake and the surrounding areas. That's all I got for you guys today. I just want to be real clear here with this week's blog. Everything that I've learned about sleep comes from hours of countless, re countless hours of research. And I think that the four biggest takeaways you're going to see from this blog that are coming up <clears throat> are going to be number one, that your environment matters. Incredibly imp important. Um, technology affects you way more than you ever thought possible that you need to actually have a routine that's surrounding your sleep schedule and that at the very end of the day when it all comes down it's going to be incredibly unique to the demands you place upon your system every now and then we hear these people come out and they're like oh man I need 10 hours of sleep I need 15 hours of sleep man you know oh I need seven oh I can only operate on four and you know what's really interesting is that science is very unclear about what the optimal number of sleep hours are in fact, they even tell you it's somewhere between 7 and 10, but it's also depending upon the level of stress you place upon your system. So, be on the lookout for that blog. We'll be sharing it on Thursday. You guys have an awesome week. I can't wait to see you next week at our grand opening. Have a great day.